oil crayon, in fact, is just like any other crayon. It's basically fresh. That means it's not all little tiny little bits of the pigment all over the place. Watercolor adheres directly to the paper. Watercolor is easier to tell. But sometimes you have prints that look like watercolors. In this case, you have an actual watercolor. Jack Sparrow pieces are going to be worth this one, the pastel. Which is going to be worth more, the watercolor or the pastel? Jack Sparrow is best known for his works of scenes, exterior or landscape scenes, rather than exotic animals. So I'm in Istanbul, right? And I get off a ship and I walk out of wonderful, beautiful Istanbul and there's a camel there. And I'm so excited because I'm like, I've never seen a camel because I'm from Connecticut. We don't have a lot of camels there. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, I want a picture with the camel. And you know what it says? One euro. Photos with the camel are one euro. I'm like, I gotta pay to pay to have a picture with the camel? Right? Yes, yes, you have to pay to get a picture with the camel. I'm not paying to get a picture with the camel. Right? So I stood there and I looked at the camel and he looked at me. You know where the picture is? My head. I was not giving up that book. So people are like, oh my gosh, you may never be back to Istanbul ever again. I was back to Istanbul. Guess what? Next time I went, free. Okay? You gotta wait, you gotta wait. Sometimes you're gonna bide your time, like you did, waiting for me. You waited a year to see me. A year! That was nice of you. A year! <laughs> this piece is worth about a thousand dollars. This piece is worth about three thousand dollars. Wow. Now, still not worth as much as those two ugly Staffordshire pieces that you didn't like in the beginning! <laughs> right? Nice. Jack Sparrow, uh, relatively well known, of course, um, early 20th century artist working in New York. Fantastic. 